And with most uh, Hindu ceremonies, you have the tassa drums that are um, going pretty, pretty fast. It's always a fast beat. Um, I, I decided to go with black and white because uh, the, the colors weren't uh, standing out. It was later in the evening. Um, the colors weren't standing out as much. And I thought that the black and white uh, gave more texture, detail to the drums. And you could see how well used the drum is um, by the tassa drummers. And this is uh, the Muslim ceremony. The bride is getting ready to head down. Um, if you've been to Nika ceremony, it's usually the, the ceremony happens with just the, the groom uh, down at, this, at the stage. And um, the groom would make an offering, sending his, uh, I think, the father and someone else to the bride. Um, she isn't actually part of the ceremony until the end where they agree and she heads down. This is just her putting on the final touches and um, I like the detail. Um, I like to capture all the detail that um, the brides, even though it's just one day and just for a few hours that they get ready, it's, it's still quite uh, beautiful, the details that they have on and the, the time they take to put on the makeup and all the extra decorations. This one was one of my earlier um, weddings that I shot in 2010, 2011. And I think I, this one, I, everyone can just interpret it for themselves. This is the bride and the groom. After the ceremony, they were taking some formal portraits. And I just noticed her clinching the back of the groom's shirt. And anyone can interpret what that meant. I don't know. 